Hello, and welcome to IntelliJ IDEA Basics. In this lesson, we'll take a look at importing an existing IntelliJ project or module into IntelliJ IDEA. And let's say you have a project already that you'd like to import. Um, why would you ever want to open it directly? Well, the difference between opening and importing a project in IntelliJ IDEA is when you open it, it will use the other person's existing project's configuration. And all those preferences that you've set are stored inside a dot or configuration folder with all your settings inside the directory. So if we open that up, you can see several of them here. Um, we don't recommend you edit them directly, but if you go in File and import a new project, what you can do is select the project and override its existing configuration properties with your default profile. So if you go here and select the project from existing sources, and we'll click Next, don't change the project's location, because if you do, then IntelliJ IDEA won't recognize the project. So this is where it's, we're importing the project from. And now we'll click Next here. It tells me that the project already exists. Would I like to overwrite it? So we'll click Yes, I'd like to overwrite that. Once your configuration file has been overwritten, then you can see that it recognizes all of the same sources. This will remain unchanged. And you can select the modules that you'd like to import. You can overwrite the IDEA module file here or reuse the existing one if we'd like. This file includes the descriptors for all of the SDKs, external libraries, output paths, and so forth. So if you'd like to reuse the existing one, which is probably a safe bet if it's already been configured to work properly with someone else's version of IntelliJ IDEA, then you can click Reuse here and go on to select your SDK and then click Finish. Now what IntelliJ IDEA will do once that's restarted is it will overwrite the project's existing IDEA configuration with my defaults. And as a reminder, those can be configured under Other Settings and Default Settings. So that's importing an existing IntelliJ IDEA project back into IntelliJ IDEA and overriding the project's existing configurations and settings. Now let's take a look at importing an IntelliJ module. So if you import a project, what you're doing is you're importing maybe several modules. But if you'd just like to select one module from another project, then you can click Module here, and you'll select the IML file from the other project. You can see it's now included in our project here right alongside our existing module. And again, recall that modules are roughly equivalent to an Eclipse project. So now once that's all done, you can go into the project structure here and configure your settings the way you'd like them. And then once you're happy with that, with your settings and your profile and all that, and you can just go ahead and share that project directly with anyone else you may be working with, or in the future, just open it up through the open file dialog. Thanks for watching.